I mean my dad. I always thought he was dead. But he's alive! Hey, welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is sponsored by Nintendo. Also say hello to my cat. <laughs> okay, it's been a while since I've done a cozy game recommendation video. I did one a while back. I did like my top 10 cozy games and I've been wanting to get back into the cozy game scene for a while. And this was just the perfect opportunity. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about a game called Another Code Recollection. And this was a game that was not on my radar. I actually didn't know about it, but it is so good and it is ultimate cozy. It has beautiful atmospheric music and an anime art style, which you guys know I love. And it has puzzles and it has surprisingly complex storytelling that I've been really enjoying. I've waited for this moment for so long. I can't help being nervous. But overall, the vibes are just so cozy and I've been really looking for a game like this in the cold winter months. And it's just been the perfect game to like curl up on the couch with and just play for hours. I would say that this is my favorite cozy game of 2024. So if you don't know, Another Code Recollection is actually a remake of two classic Nintendo games. One of them is called Another Code 2 Memories, which was released on the Nintendo DS. And then the other is called Another Code R Journey into Lost Memories. It never released in North America. So this is the first time that it is releasing in North America and they have changed the setting and there's like new characters. Also, I love Ashley so much and I decided to dress up as her for this video. But yeah, now that you know the history of the series, let me share with you guys my experience with this super cozy game. So I've actually already beaten the two memories portion of this game and started Journey into Lost Memories. So I think I have a pretty good feel for everything that this game has to offer. Before we actually start discussing the game, I want you to vibe with me for a second on the title screen. The music is so beautiful. Another code. Ooh. This music is so pretty. That's really cozy. Seattle suburbs, 1994. Hurry, Ashley, hide. What do you hope to accomplish? Mommy? Oh my gosh. Two memories. Two Memories introduces the main character, 13-year-old Ashley Mizuki Robbins, who receives a letter from her father, who she originally thought had passed away like her mom had. She heads Dad. to Blood Edward Island to search for answers. And when she gets there, she meets a young ghost boy <gasps> named D, and he's lost his memory, so they work together to uncover the mysteries of both of their pasts. The majority of the game takes place at this mansion, and there's a lot of puzzles and mystery solving to be had here. While this game is considered a visual novel, it still feels really immersive because you are able to walk around and interact with your surroundings. It has that cozy feel of a visual novel, but with the added benefits of being able to explore. I also really like how you can change a lot of your gameplay settings to fit your preference. I personally needed to change my camera sensitivity to make it a little bit faster. Overall, the gameplay and controls are extremely straightforward and well explained. Ashley's dad, AKA Richard Robbins, sends her a device that he created called the DOS. So, what was he like? My dad. Well, Richard is a brilliant neuroscientist. He was, is a neuroscientist? Like he studied brains? Yeah, and I bet he made that device he sent you. 
Really? He made this? Okay, that's kind of amazing. Only Ashley can use the DOS, and this functions as the menu in this game, and I really liked it because it kept everything super organized. You can access your camera here, and it also keeps information about the characters you come across, and it updates as you go through the story. You can also use your DOS to take pictures of these origami cranes that are sort of like QR codes. When you scan them with the DOS, it gives you little journal entries written by Richard, and I thought that this was just a really nice added touch. The camera can be accessed at any time or through the DOS, and it's meant to be used to help you solve puzzles. This is a really nice feature because you don't have to go back and forth when trying to solve a puzzle, and you can even combine multiple photos for certain puzzles. Yeah. And speaking of puzzles, Let's talk about them. The puzzles in this game are so much fun. I always loved mystery games with puzzles and this one has a wide range that were all really enjoyable. While I found them to be quite simple, they still made me think without getting extremely stuck. And the nice thing is, if you do get stuck, you can actually press L3 and the game will point you in the right direction. I didn't realize this until later into the game, and I used it sparingly, but I think it's a great feature for accessibility. I think the puzzles being so laid back really fits the cozy right. vibes of the game. What really surprised me about this game was the story. The voice acting is really enjoyable, and I got connected to the characters really quickly. I think that the game does a good job at balancing being this like relaxing mystery game where you're solving puzzles and exploring, but then Ashley, sprinkling in hi. plot here and there. And honestly, it gets pretty intense. I won't spoil anything, but I definitely cried at the end. I wasn't gonna show this because it's embarrassing. Uh, but so that you can really understand just like how good the story is. Uh, here is me in the dead of night, sobbing while playing this game. I didn't expect the game to do this to me, but it was very welcomed because as a lot of you know, I love when games get emotional. I finished Two Memories feeling really satisfied and excited to start Journey into Lost Memories. And I've already played about two hours so far and it has been a delight. The game takes place two years after Two Memories. So you are now 16 year old Ashley and she has a lot of teenage angst that she's dealing with, but I honestly love how feisty she is now. I don't want to get too detailed with the plot because it might spoil two memories, but essentially Ashley goes on a camping trip at a place called Lake Juliet where she is starting to uncover memories of her mom. She also meets a young boy oh, who has right. run away from home. Jessica wanted me to check in. My phone it's in my bag. Oh. Hey! Thief! Journey into Lost Memories controls the same as two memories, but has some added features, such as the Ross bracelet that used to be Ashley's mom's, huh? and it helps you open certain locks and makes you input a code to do so. Ah. Ah. Oh. Wow. I also really enjoyed the incorporation of more unique puzzles, such as this one, where I got to use a remote controlled boat to hook a briefcase that we needed to search, and I thought. That was really fun. Ashley gets to meet a lot of new people, some that were not in the original game, and I love seeing her interact with everyone. She has a lot more complex relationships in Journey into Lost Memories that she has to navigate. I'm seriously so excited to play the rest of this game. I can't wait to see where the story goes. All in all, Another Code Recollection has been the perfect cozy Whoa, mystery game that beautiful. I have been searching for. It really scratched that itch for me, and I love that it's a visual novel, but still has a lot of elements that make it feel 
really dynamic. Thank you so much Nintendo for sponsoring this video. You can download the demo for another code recollection from the Nintendo store. And if you decide to purchase the game, you can actually transfer your save to the full game, which is super convenient. I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really want to start making more content like this. Like I really love cozy gaming and I feel like I don't really get to explore that as much as I would like to on mm -hmm. this channel. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. And as always, thank you for being a key to my heart.